No? No. No, 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 no. Alabama. And important to know it was 1950. 
Okay, so 19 days of slavery was legal, and in Alabama where it was really popular. When you were done, draw your line. Lots of precedents that wanted to defend black and black people um, died, got killed. Yes, yeah. Uh, so what happens when you fight for a big cause, there's always some people who don't like it. Like, and they're willing to do things that are unfair and not right just to uh, get people quiet. Like, we have our first cause and effect. Once you have that chart, give me a thumbs up. If right now it's 2020 and this happened in 1951, what's zero take away one? One. One. Well, and then, okay, the next thing that Louise said 
was, did President Lincoln shake things up when he was a boy? Shake like me. <laughs> and that changed everything? He just shook some stuff around and it was like, all right. <laughs> so what does it mean by he, did he shake things up? It, when it says shake things up, that means like people were set. This foundation was set the way it was, right? I have just some things sitting up here, right? Yeah. Huh? I don't know if I can get them still. <laughs> okay, and they're totally fine the way they are, besides this little guy. <laughs> they're totally fine. But if I shake things up a little bit, now they start moving in different positions. You start yeah. seeing some change. For example, there was four pens, now there's only three pens. Because you shaked it and you're Now there's two, <laughs> right? So you're shaking things up and it's not completely changing everything, but there's little changes that are made, but right? But if you do it a lot, yeah, you can change everything. If you do it a lot, you can completely change everything, right? Chris didn't want to wait anymore. He wasn't going to. Dun dun dun. You better go home, she said, leading Lewis back to the door. As she gently pushed him outside, she whispered, Come back tomorrow after five. Yay! The cause and the cake is eight stories. It's eight stories. But one of the librarians, remember there's two? There's originally two. One was me and just pointed to the sign that said whites only. The other one was me. Yeah, so, yes. Okay, this is where we are finishing off for ELA. Try them. Okay, so report cards go out today. Got them all filed in their envelopes, ready to go. Good to have that checked off. Report cards is always a little more stressful than it needs to be. I feel like there's always one thing that goes kind of haywire that ends up taking way more of your time than it should. But not too bad in this case, I'm just glad that they're done and getting them mailed out of here. All right, so group A went really well. I don't even think I did an intro this morning because it was so busy. Hi, welcome to my classroom. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. I teach third grade in Central California. It's report card week. That's about it. <laughs> oh, and Vlogmas day five. I don't know what number it is anymore, but so today was busy. I think that's an understatement. But the first part of the day is done. My hybrid kids are out of here, but I'll see them again tomorrow. And going to eat lunch, jump online, that whole shebang. And I don't think I'm gonna carry on through any of it because quite frankly, it's not that exciting. So our journey ends here for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you real soon in the next one. Bye guys.